Since December of 2018, I've been making an attempt to learn Blender to improve the quality of my animations. While the learning curve has been... steep? I honestly love how my Blender animations look compared to my SFM ones. However, during my time learning Blender, I was disappointed that there isn't really an add-on that allows you to quickly rig models similar to Auto IK and SFM. I wasn't really a fan of Rigify and Auto Rigs only allows you to retarget animations from one model to another. All I wanted to do was download a model, run a script, and have it ready for animating within seconds. I decided that if I couldn't find a script that does all this, then I will have to create it myself. After weeks of relearning Python and learning how Blender's API work, I finally finished my Auto IK add-on, which is now available to be purchased on Gumroad for 5 bucks. For this video, I want to take the chance to explain how to use the add-on. I also recommend reading the user guide as it contains common issues you might run into using the add-on. For this tutorial video, we'll be rigging two models, one provided by World Skies LLC, which I highly recommend checking out his channel if you want to learn Blender in under a few minutes, and my friend Ultraman's Ultimo's Gridman model, link to his Twitter down below. Also check out Gridman, it's pretty rad. We're gonna rig World Skies model first. Before we rig the model, we need to do some prep work. First, select the mesh and check to see if the model is located at the world origin and is orientated facing the negative Y direction. Then make sure all the rigs meshes and have the transforms applied at the world origin. If the location and rotation on all axes are not zero and the scale isn't one for the XYZ, then you need to apply transforms to the mesh and the armature. To do this, select all the meshes in the armature and hit Ctrl A. From there, apply transforms to the appropriate transform. If the location isn't correct, then apply location. If the rotation isn't correct, apply rotation. And you can probably guess what to do for scale. I felt lazy, so I just hit apply all. Afterwards, select your armature and go to edit mode and check to see if the world values of the hand and feet bones are zero. If they're not, set them so. With that said, go into pose mode and check to see which bones are which if you haven't already. Hold it. I forgot to mention this. Before running the add-on, please make sure there are no prior bone constraints on the limbs. That means no eye can constraints, no limb and location constraints, no copy rotation constraints, nothing. You can clear these constraints by hitting F3 and look for clear post constraints. Okay, with that said, back to the video. This is necessary for the rigging process. Once you do that, hit F3 and look for Auto Rigger. Start filling out the fields with the appropriate bell names. And that's it. Keep in mind, normally you hit clean if the arm and leg bones are unconnected or they're not bent at an angle. Since the model has connected arm and leg bones and the arm and leg bones are connected at an angle, we don't need to select this option. For this part of the tutorial, we're not going to select custom bones or the FK to IK sliders. We're going to save that for the Grinman model. Hit OK and the rig is finished. Depending on the model, you'll need to navigate to the bone layers to get the bones you need. And you're ready to use this model for your animations. Now, let's rig the Grinman model which is completely different from the World Skies model. Like the previous example, check to make sure the transfers are applied to the mesh and the armature and to see if it's facing the right direction. Looks like it's done already. And I kinda cheat a little bit, I already know the world values for the arm and feet bone are already zero. Okay, so let's go into pose mode and run the add-on. <laughs> okay, some of the fields have been filled in already. This is one auto IK's feature. Using a JSON file included in the add-on, it pre-fills some fields if the bone uses a particular name structure. At the moment, it can recognize SFM BIP rigs, it should recognize X and A rigs, and maximum rigs by the time this video comes out. Just fill in the data auto IK missed, and you're pretty much done. Unlike last time, we're going to hit the clean option since the arm and leg bones are disconnected. I also want custom bones to appear on the model, so we're going to select that. And we're going to add arm and leg FK to IK sliders. Keep this in mind for the sliders. By default, the legs would be in IK mode, while the arms would be in FK mode. So, the custom bones are on the model, but they're too small. That's because SFM models are scaled way bigger than most models. However, this can be solved using the custom bone rescaler tool included in the add-on. While in object mode, hit F3 and look for scale bone shapes. We initially run the script, an empty in the shape of an arrow should appear named scale reference. Scale the arrow up so that it's the same height as your model. We run the operator and your custom bone should be scaled correctly. Keep in mind that depending on how your spine bones are situated, some custom bones might overlap with each other or be rotated at a weird angle. You can fix this by changing how they look in edit mode. As for the FK to IK sliders, they should be in bone layer too. Speaking of the FK to IK sliders, let's talk about them. 
One thing to know about the sliders, to snap from IK to FK, select the hand, lower arm, hand IK, IK bones, and hit control A, apply visual transforms, and slide it from the IK to FK position. Snapping from the FK to IK position requires an external script to do this. However, I highly recommend using WB Moss's Snap Constraints add-on. I've used his original script in the past and his newer version is very straightforward to use. And that's it for the add-on. I sincerely hope this add-on will not only speed up the rigging process for most Blender users, but also encourage people who use SFM or Pilsa to pick up Blender. By the time this video and add-on comes out, I will be working on Rev2, which I plan to add a fit roll option, an eyedropper tool for the bones, the ability to set the bone banding for the arm and leg bones, and much more. I also plan on releasing more add-ons that will make it more efficient to get animations up for Blender. For example, I've written a script that can quickly add a solidify modifier to mesh if you're doing tune shaded animations. I also want to take this chance to thank the Blender team and the community for making this software one of the best animation programs I've ever used. I've used SFL for years, and while it's easy to get stuff done in it than Blender, Blender has the ability to do almost anything you want. Before I end the video, I want to thank Late as usual for assisting me in cleaning up and refining the code. If you have the chance, please follow him on Twitter and give him a warm welcome. Finally, thanks to my friends for helping me test out the add-on these past days. I couldn't have done it without them. With that said, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day and night. See ya!